let's try that one more time. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Talking or just the music? 
because I'm trying to bring the music down when I go to explain something. Is this any better? Is this worse? I really need to get a better mic, but let's try this. So I'm going to run over how I create a patch mostly using my sequencer the Erica Sense black sequencer and then I'll take out each voice and until we don't have anything connected here's the full song about 15 minutes um, all played re through really quick now let me go ahead and break it down okay so the Erica sense black sequencer uh, is my main sequencer it's down here on the bottom right corner and this is going to four VCOs I have the Loquilic Iteritas from Noise Engineering a Twin Waves Dual Oscillator uh, by Cl Clavis the Make Noise STO and the WMD Legion. So let's listen to those individually. Oh, and then I also have uh, what I started with was this the sample. Everything going to be all right. 
This is the um, the uh, radio waves, and then I'm running it through a crush delay to get this effect. Then our first voice, and actually we're not going to listen to them anymore, they're getting disconnected. I was running the uh, both outs from the crush delay into the stereo mix for Bafaco, uh, which was giving the crush delay effects on the left and right channel. So that's the Loquilic. The Loquilic is uh, getting a pitch from the black sequencer. Uh, I have a modulation output, which is just a uh, LFO going into the Loquilic from the black sequencer. And then the output is going into the WMD Orion which then goes into the noise engineering um, Tercy Ruina, which is a wave folder. And the gate signal from the black sequencer is going into uh, the envelope, which is the nano quart. And that goes into the Vinicursal VCA. And that's pretty much um, every voice. So I have pitch going into the oscillator, gate going into the nano quart, and this lets me control all my envelopes right here. Let's listen to that a little bit. That's with the the Tercy Ruina. I've now turned down all the parameters. Let's turn those back up. And on top of that, I'm also I'm also using the STO. To just fatten out that sound a little bit. Now with a black sequencer, what I do is uh, I set up a pattern. And then I copy it um, four times. So if you look across, it's really easy to copy a pattern. Now let's go to the second one. And what I usually do is I'll copy a pattern and then make a variation on one of the voices. 
So if you notice, it's the same thing that's going But now I'll unmute channel two, which is the uh, twin waves. So the twin waves is going out to three sisters my least favorite favorite filter And then another thing I do to change the variation is change the wave type that the oscillator is using. also have an LFO coming from the sloth, the one use sloth, into the quality input of three sisters. Let's remove that. Now let's unmute our last voice. I also have these, when they finally come down, they go to the Bafaco Hex Mix which makes it also really easy to mute each voice. So right now, this is just the Legion getting a steady note. The Legion is going to the Chopping Kinky filter from Bafaco. which I also have the um, Erica Sense joystick connected to the CV inputs for Chopping Kinky so that I can play around with. I recently replaced the joystick. I was using Bafaco's joystick, uh, but the black joystick version 2 is the same HP size, but it lets me record my movements. Which is really handy. So now 
let's put them all back together. So those are the voices. Let's come down to the bottom half where I have the drum section. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. You'll see that the time is already moving. And that's because the clock signal is coming out from the black sequencer going into the clock input of the WMD Metron. And here I have my patterns saved. And let's listen to that. And same thing here, I have my drums coming into the Bafaco hex mix, which makes it really easy to mute different sections. Or set the volume, or use the uh, any effects if I want to. So the actual patches here, the kick is the uh, BIA from Noise Engineering going into the Pittsburgh Low Pass filter. Which is going into the WMD muscle before coming into the mixer. Then this is, I have two channels going into um, Erica Sin's drum sampler and then two going into the 2HP hat. Then I also have one channel here. Channel 16 is sending triggers into the noise engineering Zularic repetitor, which is sending three trigger outputs into the WMD Kraken. And this is what that sounds like. This has a really nice uh, switch, which switches from what they call new world patterns to old world patterns, which gives me uh, even more variety. So I'll have that playing, and then every once in a while I'll just switch it to the other pattern.
and the Zalaric is going into the ST mix so I can control that volume right here The other thing with a Metron, you can have variations. So I typically have at least three variations. You can switch those by double pressing one of the five variation buttons. And when it gets to the end of the entire pattern, then it'll make the change. So I time this by on the black sequencer when I'm going to switch to a different project I'll press that button I'll double tap this and they'll time it together And that's basically it. Um, so you have four voices with a black sequencer and I'll bring them on and off throughout. I don't always have all four going. Sometimes I do. Um, and then my drum section. So I'm going to go ahead and just play it and disconnect things as I play. If you have any questions, let me know. That one is gone.
one thing I didn't mention this section right here it's the uh, IntelliGel Quadrat and I just also use it as another sub mixer so I have all the four VCOs coming into this and this also lets me set the volume for each voice I just find that really handy That's it. Everything's disconnected. Ready for a new patch. Thanks for tuning in.